Hi, Anita. Uh, welcome to Anita Abner's session uh, using Skype to connect international teachers to ESL learners in Malaysia. Take it away, Adnan. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Mira. So, all right, welcome everyone. Maybe, you know, we'll, we'll wait a few minutes before everybody starts to come in. Um, let me just put on my video. I hope you can see me. The lighting is not so good in this room. Um, but I, if, let's say, there's not so many people, then perhaps we can use video because I've attended a session where the videos keep um, disturbing yeah, the presentation. So I'll just put it off for now. Yeah. Um, right. Let me just go to the slide. And I hope you are hearing me clearly. No echoes or anything. Maybe you can. Yep. Okay. Right. So this is the slide that I've prepared. Uh, the title is Using Skype to Connect International Teachers to Learners in Malaysia. Uh, this is actually a project that I've done um, six months ago. Uh, although I've been using Skype for almost four or five years now. So, so like you said, Nira, before this it was just for family. Yeah, when we were away in, in Nottingham, England, I used to, to call my mother, my family uh, using Skype. But after that, I found out that why not use Skype for teaching? So that's when you know, I decided to, to try out. Um, and of course, I'm aware that there are so many teachers already using Skype for teaching right now. So let's just go to the overview of the talk. Yeah. So in this talk, I will cover a bit about myself and what I do, and why I use Skype. You know, why 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 do you want to take advantage of this very simple program and yet very powerful, and how I do, I, I use Skype, and I want to put some contextual idea of uh, about Malaysia and how English is taught over here. And what are some of the problems that we face when we want to link the learners to the teachers? But by, by saying this, I'm, I'm talking about the ESL learners in Malaysia to the teachers um, all over the world. Yeah. So, so what are some of the problems that I found? So, and next, I will I will talk about the solution. What are some solution that you know what I've been trying to do, and show you some pictures. Yes, the, the sessions that we did and links to some videos. Um, maybe the videos may not be uh, link clickable. Yeah, but don't worry because I'll put the slides to uh, in my in my uh, web page later. Um, and we also got some feedback from the learners about you know what did they think of the Skype session. Um, and um, Everything has been so good so far. Everybody is saying, you know, why, why don't we use this in this uh, very modern world? And some reflection that I have uh, about the, the project that I've done and a conclusion of it. Right, so I see some new people yeah, Julio. Welcome, Julio. Um, that's it. That's the overview of the talk. Okay. So, right. Maybe this may not be, I don't know, maybe, yeah. Either one of you, have you used Skype for teaching purposes? I wanted to use Paul just now, but since there are only a few of us, so maybe you can simply um, you know, chat, type in the chat box. Have you used yeah, Skype for teaching purposes? So Mira said no. What about Pariadi? Have you used Skype for teaching purposes? All right, okay, and Julia said no too. Right, because I think many people are thinking, well, Skype is just for, for chatting, you know, for family. Yeah, for family, it, it's a family thing. I mean, it, it's so personal that um, for me, Skype is very personal uh, because my experience is we use it to connect to our family back then when I was in England and my family was in Malaysia. So why, how can you use it for, for teaching? So perhaps, you know, we can, we can, I can share experience of what I did. Right, and then, of course, I think these are just some, some you know, to get some ideas. Um, where you are, do you know how to make group calls or send files? So if you, are, if you only use video calls, so perhaps that's A. May not be suitable as beginner, but maybe A. Um, B, intermediate, means you can, Make, you use Skype for group calls and send files and sharing you know, files. Or maybe C, uh, you know everything about Skype. You can share screens. You manage your presentation in Skype. So which one do you think you belong to? Um, I have an idea that 
actually, yeah, Skype. Skype is actually so powerful that you can use a lot of things. And what I like about Skype is because it is so simple to, to learn. Uh, my experience with learning management system, LMS, sometimes it's so difficult that teachers are not, you know, not comfortable. Uh, which is so, su I'm so surprised with Blackboard Collaborate. It's quite easy. It's quite user friendly. I've never, I've, I've used it before, like four years ago, but that's it. And I, I, I left it. You know, I, I never use it again. And suddenly I came back and I said, wow, maybe they have improved something. So Skype is just <clears throat> a few buttons, you know, you just click on a few buttons. So, so that's why I think, um, teachers can use it. Yeah, especially when you want to connect with uh, learners from all over, around the world. Okay, so let's go to the introduction now. Who am I um, and what I'm doing? Um, and I'm actually operating under this training academy called Megabiz Academy and why I, I decided to, to use an academy for, for this work. And then, of course, why we use Skype and how do we learn English via Skype and who has been doing it. Believe me, there are many other people who have done it. I've known some native teachers from England who has the actual uh, page on it. Um, and what has been my experience while well, I was in uh, Nottingham and London? Yes, Julio, yes. These features will depend on the account mode that you have. Um, not necessarily. Uh, if you have the free Skype account, you can also, uh, you can also tweak around it. Yeah. Uh, I've been using the free Skype account. Yes, the, the the paid one, the paid features are only if you you want to have more than ten people in a group. Yeah, group conversation. But why do you want to speak to ten people unless it's one too many? Yeah. So 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 that that's fine. Very good question. Thank you. Because many people are thinking that Skype is expensive. Yes, they can be. Yeah, because if you use it for business. Yeah, because they have their paid subscription. You know things that you have to pay. But overall, so far I've been using Skype for free. And I and I love it because it's so easy and it's um you can also direct your learners uh you know how to use it. So so that's that's my experience. Um very good experience that I had when I was in Nottingham and London, uh connecting with other ESL teachers who are using it. And that's when I, I I have this idea of yeah why not when I'm back in Malaysia I want to 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 do this to uh, to introduce this approach so that's that's what we have been doing right so the reason why I want to do this this is my small family not too many <laughs> we have seven children in the family so um, the big three big boys and uh, smaller little girls so the reason why I would like to learn how to use technology for teaching is because I want to uh, teach from home. So that's basically the reason. And when you have a good enough reason as your family, you will learn, you know, to, 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 to try so many things, yeah? And I've been doing this, I think, from since, uh, since the year 2008. Um, well, Julio, it depends on how do you define nice <laughs> as in nice? Wow. <laughs> you know, but it, it takes a lot of, of uh, hard work and effort because managing a family is not easy. But that's why my husband and I decided, well, we, we have to work around this. How do you do this? How do you juggle work and life? You know, family.